Have you ever struggled to stay motivated on your fitness journey? It's a common conundrum that many of us face, isn't it? The initial burst of energy and enthusiasm, the thrill of setting a new goal, the excitement of hitting the gym or the trail for the first time in ages, it all feels so invigorating, but then the novelty wears off. The early mornings or late evenings start to feel less exhilarating and more exhausting. The sore muscles, the sweat, the occasional aches and pains, they all start to weigh on us. And before we know it, we're questioning whether it's all worth it. This, dear friends, is the struggle of staying motivated. It's a universal challenge, one that spans beyond fitness and into almost every facet of our lives. But fear not, for it's not an insurmountable obstacle. In fact, it's a challenge that can be met head-on with the right knowledge, tools, and strategies. So, what's the secret to staying motivated on your fitness journey? Is it sheer willpower? Or is it something more concrete, something that can be quantified and measured? As it turns out, science has some fascinating insights to offer on this subject. In the realm of fitness, motivation is not just a psychological state. It's a physiological process, one that involves a complex interplay of neurotransmitters, hormones, and neural pathways. It's about understanding how our brains respond to rewards, how our bodies react to physical stress, and how our habits can shape our behavior. In this video, we're going to delve into the science behind motivation. We'll explore how our brains reward us for physical activity, how we can harness the power of habit to keep us on track, and how we can boost our motivation levels through some simple, scientifically backed strategies. Staying motivated is not always easy, but it's certainly not impossible. Let's dive into the science behind it. One key player in our motivation levels is a neurotransmitter called dopamine. This amazing little chemical messenger in our brain plays a crucial role in how we feel pleasure and motivation. It's our body's own reward system, encouraging us to repeat actions that make us feel good. Now, science has shown that physical activity can actually increase our dopamine levels. In a nutshell, when we exercise, we're not just toning muscles and burning calories, we're also giving our brain a pleasant dose of dopamine. This is why you often hear people talk about the runner's high, that sense of euphoria and positivity after a good workout. But it's not just about feeling good in the moment. Higher levels of dopamine can also help us stay motivated over the long term, pushing us to maintain our fitness routines and reach our goals. Understanding how dopamine works in our body sets the stage for understanding how we can harness it to increase our motivation. Now that we know the role of dopamine, how can we use this knowledge to stay motivated? Well, one of the most effective strategies is setting achievable goals. When we set a goal and achieve it, our brains reward us with a burst of dopamine. This is what gives us that satisfaction and sense of accomplishment. But the key is to make sure these goals are manageable. If they're too lofty, we set ourselves up for disappointment, and that can actually decrease our dopamine levels. A study published in the Journal of Neuroscience found that dopamine levels rise when we anticipate a reward but they drop when the reward doesn't meet our expectations. So remember, keep your goals realistic and achievable. Another crucial factor is maintaining a healthy diet. Yes, you heard it right. What we eat can directly influence our dopamine levels. Foods rich in tyrosine, a type of amino acid, can boost dopamine production. Some food sources for tyrosine include lean meats, dairy, fruits, and vegetables. It's not just about the type of food, but also the timing. Regular balanced meals can help maintain steady dopamine levels, according to a study in the journal Nutritional Neuroscience. And let's not forget about the importance of getting enough sleep. Sleep is when our body rejuvenates and repairs itself, including our brain. A lack of sleep can throw our dopamine system out of balance, leading to lower motivation and focus. A study in the Journal of Neuroscience reveals that deep sleep can help reset the brain's dopamine levels, preparing us for the next day. As we can see, there are various ways to boost our dopamine levels and thus our motivation. But keep in mind that these are not magic bullets. Sometimes it's just about finding what works best for you and sticking to it. These strategies can help you boost your dopamine levels, but there's more to motivation than just this neurotransmitter. After all, staying motivated on a fitness journey is about more than just biochemistry. It's about discipline, perseverance, and a love for what you're doing. Another key factor in maintaining motivation is the power of habit. You see, habits are like the autopilot of our brains. 
They are routines that we perform regularly, often without even thinking about it. Brushing your teeth before bed, for instance, is a habit that most of us have formed since childhood, but how are habits formed? It's a three-step process that psychologists call the habit loop. The first step is the cue, which is a trigger that tells your brain to start the habit. The second step is the routine or the behavior itself. The third step is the reward, which is the positive reinforcement that tells your brain that this routine is worth remembering. Now let's apply this to fitness. Imagine your cue could be lacing up your running shoes after work. The routine is the run itself and the reward could be the sense of accomplishment after a good run or maybe even a healthy post-workout snack. The more you repeat this loop, the stronger the habit becomes. Research backs this up. A study from University College London found that it takes, on average, 66 days to form a new habit. They discovered that the more a behavior is repeated, the more it gets encoded in our neural pathways until it becomes automatic. So how does this help with motivation? Well, once a habit is formed, it requires less effort and decision making. You're not constantly battling with yourself about whether to work out or not. It just becomes part of your day, like brushing your teeth. This can make it easier to stick to your fitness routine, even on days when your motivation might be low. But remember, habits take time to form. It's about consistency, not perfection. You may miss a day or two, and that's okay. The important thing is to get back on track as soon as you can. Habit formation can be a powerful tool in your fitness journey, helping you stay on track even when motivation wanes. And with that, we can see that the power of habit is not just about discipline, but also about creating an environment where success becomes automatic. Staying motivated on your fitness journey is a complex process, but understanding the science behind it can make it easier. We've journeyed far today, unearthing the intricacies of motivation in our fitness pursuits. We've explored the struggle of staying motivated, the pivotal role of dopamine, strategies to boost dopamine, and the undeniable power of habit formation. Each element is a cog in the machinery of motivation and recognizing their importance is the first step in mastering them. Remember the struggle? It's real and it's universal, but it's not insurmountable. Our brain's reward system with dopamine as its star player is a crucial ally in overcoming the struggle. By understanding how dopamine functions in our brain, we can leverage it to boost our motivation. It's not magic, it's science. We've also discussed strategies to boost dopamine from the power of positive reinforcement to the importance of setting achievable goals and even the surprising role of diet and sleep. These are not just theoretical concepts, but practical tools to help you on your journey. Finally, we delved into the power of habits. The beauty of habit formation lies in its simplicity. Once a habit is formed, it requires less mental effort to maintain. This can be a powerful tool for those who are on a fitness journey. Remember, every journey starts with a single step. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, consider supporting our channel by subscribing. Stay fit, stay motivated, and keep pushing your limits. Until next time.